Hello, this is Dr. Smith Patel, secondary resident from Siusha Medical College, presenting a case for our YouTube channel, Radio Academics. 75 years old female patient came to our department for ultrasound examination with complaint of lower abdominal pain, difficulty in maturation, and occasional fever since 3 to 4 months. On detailed history, patient was found to be living with pet dogs. On USG, well-defined oval-shaped solid cystic lesion with daughter cyst in solid matrix with peripheral calcification noted in pelvic cavity. A fistulous connection is noted between the lesion and urinary bladder. Partially distended bladder is seen showing the contents of the cyst suggesting parasites. Axial and sagittal plane CT images showing solid cystic lesion with peripheral calcification and fistulous connection. Axial CT scan confirm no involvement of liver. T2-weighted MRI images showed a large well-defined cystic lesion showing multiple daughter cysts in solid matrix located in midline within pelvic region. T2-weighted sagittal image shows fistulous communication between cyst and posterior wall of urinary bladder. Passage of hydrated cyst in urine is seen in the urine sample. Summarizing our findings, which were midline pelvic cystic lesion with daughter cyst within it, a fistulous opening in the lesion communicating with posterior wall of urinary bladder, liver show no involvement. My final diagnosis will be ruptured pelvic hydrated cyst into urinary bladder. Hydrated disease or Echinococcosis is a parasitic disease caused by infection with larva metacystode of the cystode. Echinococcus. Echinococcus granulosus requires two hosts. Human become accidental intermediate host. The most common site involved is the liver followed by lung, kidney, bone and brain. Other sites are very rarely affected. Pelvic hydrated cyst represents an uncommon but significant manifestation of the disease. Pelvic hydrated seeds are usually secondary to the rupture, spontaneous or accidental at surgery of a primary hepatic, splenic or mesenteric cyst. In our case, no other cyst were found in liver, lung and spleen. Serology and imaging are the main tools for establishing the diagnosis. Ultrasound is the preferred first line imaging but CECT gives more precise information regarding the morphology, size, location, neighborhood and number of the cyst. According to Gerby and WHO classification, our case was type 3 CE3B pelvic hydrated cyst with rupture into urinary bladder with discharge of echinococcus in urine. I would like to thank Dr. Harshad Sasar, Dr. Nirmala Chudasma ma'am, Dr. Rashesh Vas sir, Dr. Naveen Mehta sir, my seniors and my dear colleagues for their constant support.